Trauma is an emotional response to accident, injuries, physical violence, rape, natural disaster, or any other incident that affects an individual, both physically as well as mentally. The main aim of observing the World Trauma Day is to educate people about the causes and consequences of trauma and promote trauma care and prevention strategies. As Nigeria joins the commemoration of the World Trauma Day 2023, some civil society organizations are seeking economic support for victims of kidnapping and banditry in northwest Nigeria. We are also here to also find out best practices that we can use to bridge the gap with trauma and care. Also, we can also imbibe this attitude to ensure the use of mental health and psychosocial support is being eminent in the community. Many Nigerians, especially in the north, remain traumatized as a result of being victims of terrorism, banditry, or kidnapping. Some persons who regained freedom after ransom payment or being freed by security forces take time to overcome the trauma due to unpleasant experiences. One victim, Yusuf Musa, recalls how more than 14.2 million naira was paid in ransom before he regained freedom. Hawa Okabiru, a six-month northern mother at the time of the incident, was lucky to have found an escape route, but not without being beaten on a daily basis by the kidnappers for more than two months. The victims narrate their experiences in the hands of their captors. Even when we are being beaten by scorpion, they will still chain us in a very painful way. We were frightened because if you make a wrong move, they will just shoot you. I still record these traumatic incidents. I used to become very frightened whenever I recall how they used to beat me on a daily basis, not minding if I am sick or not. One civil society leader recalls how he had to relocate from Dusama to Kasana town after a failed attempt by some kidnappers on him. But unfortunately that very night they abducted uh, nine people from my own community including uh, a woman who had like a nine month pregnancy that time who delivered in their captivity. So the experience is still in me because uh, almost up to now I am yet to recover from that shock. The need for economic support to the victims is being stressed by civil society organizations considering that majority of them have in one way or the other sold out their property or valuables to pay ransom to their captors in specific instances. The source of livelihood they have been relying on have been taken away from them. So it's difficult to talk about mental health to them because hunger is a major concern. Shelter is already a major concern. And this are already, is already adding to the problems they are having. The civil society organizations and victims of terror are seeking support for more trauma care, prevention and management by state and the federal government. Awal Ibrahim, Arise News, Kasana.